I'm Barbara Lorraine, the developer of the Kiss the Pounds Goodbye program and your personal success trainer. Today we're going to be talking about achieving goals, your goals. And since we're going to be talking about your goals, I'd like you to think of something you want to achieve. Maybe there's a, a skill that you'd like to develop or perhaps a bad habit that you'd like to overcome. What is it for you? In this presentation, I'm going to do a demonstration of one of the many tools that we use to make it easier for you to reach the success that you want. And to help me with that... So, Joe, what's a goal that you would like to accomplish? Well, as a professional in my field in home development and a single father of a child, I need to deal better with my time management. Okay, well, I want you to look over there at that lamp and just pretend that if you can just walk over there and make it over there, you're going to have a handle on your time management. So, go ahead and just walk over there. What just happened? Now, don't worry, Joe. I'm going to give you another chance to go for your goals again in a minute. So, I wait over so. there. <laughs> I'll call you up again in a minute. Does it ever happen that as we start moving towards our goals, something, or in this case, someone, stands in our way? You betcha. The tool we're talking about is your intention. I'm going to share with you three points on that subject. The first is, set a powerful intention. Don't just say in a lackadaisical way, well, I think I'm going to do this. Instead, say that you're going to achieve your goal no matter what it takes. Now, in order to come up with that degree of energy and determination, it's very worthwhile to take a good, hard look at why you want to accomplish that goal. What are you going to get out of it? What's it going to mean to you in your life? That particular piece of the intention and goal achieving puzzle is so important, I'm going to do a video specifically on the subject of your whys. But then point number two here is to anticipate challenges and plan on using strategies and tools to overcome all obstacles that come up in your path. Okay. Does something or someone ever stand in our way as we're going towards our goals? Oh, does it ever not? Obstacles are always presenting themselves, aren't they? We need to anticipate. We know they're going to come up, so we might as well be plan and prepare for them with strategies and tools. As an example, Joe knows that I might stand in his way, so he needs to come up with some kind of a method for getting past me. Well, he could just knock me out of the way, but in life often muscling our way through isn't the best strategy, is it? Although we might think of it. Sometimes it's better to appeal to the person. He could say to me, well, hey, Barbara, your work is all about helping people achieve their goals, so please don't stand in my way next time. Hey, that would work, wouldn't it? You know, there's a saying, with a long enough lever, we can move the world. It's true. With strategies and tools, we can get so much accomplished. Which brings me then to point number three, which is to plan, prepare, and practice so that we can feel more comfortable and confident with what we need to do, how we need to do it, and when we're going to get it done. When we have a goal set, it makes a lot of sense to turn it into a project. What, my, what I mean by that is kind of like a comprehensive to-do list that includes all of the various elements. For example, for almost any goal, there's instructions you need to have or information that you need. Equipment is required and you usually have to figure out how to use that equipment. Um, often there's other resources that are required. Money, other people providing their input also. And we want to be sure to have the encouragement and support of other people also. All of those elements can be 
woven into our project. And then, here's a very important point, is schedule it. You've got to write it in your calendar, write it in your day timer, get it into your PDA. Whatever we don't schedule into our lives, for the most part, doesn't get done. In order to ensure that you move forward on your path to success, plan and prepare for all of those necessary elements and get them into your schedule, which then brings us to the idea of practice. Those things that you have to do to reach your goal, many of them will be new to you or that you don't know how to do them. In short, they don't feel comfortable. Quite the contrary is often the case. We don't feel confident that we can do it. Yet, with practice, by breaking our project plan into small pieces, each step along the way, making it a small piece, we can take that step in the next one. And by practicing it and being successful with it, our comfort level increases, our confidence increases. Sometimes, however, we can't literally practice some of our steps. However, the mind doesn't know the difference between a real and an imagined experience. So we can use that idea to our benefit. You see, we can imagine and visualize ourselves using strategies successfully, using tools successfully. And from that imagined practice even, we feel more comfortable and confident, which then lends more motivation for us in taking the necessary steps. Okay, let's give Joe another opportunity to go for his goals. But this time when you do that, Joe, I want you to think of going for that lamp as if it's, it's everything that you want out of life. It represents every goal that you'll ever want to achieve. And the way you walk toward that lamp will determine whether or not what you get what you want out of life. So go ahead and go for your goals, Joe. All right, well, don't get in my way this time. Okay, and there he goes off to accomplish his goals. We've been talking about intention and your goals. The first point is to set a powerful intention. The second is to anticipate obstacles and come up with strategies and tools for overcoming any obstacle that comes up in your path, because you know they will. The third point is to plan, prepare, and practice. With that, you'll feel more comfortable and confident that you can take the steps necessary in order to accomplish every goal that you want. And Joe made it to his goals! <laughs> in closing, I want to remind you that when you want to do what you need to do in order to accomplish your success is just about guaranteed. Until next time, this is Barbara Lorraine, your personal success trainer. Uh, and Joe. <laughs>